Do we watch the Cheetah interview? I kinda, I kinda wanna. This is gonna be the sussiest content we've done in a while. Apparently this is like the biggest guy in the cheating scene in CS2, which is of course uh, f terrible, but this is an interview. He probably has some interesting takes on the whole thing right now with, with um, no anti-cheat being in place in CS2. Let's hear it. And now questions from subscribers. What the f***? Oh man. Why the f*** not? Are you a moron? I'm not the one to judge. And you, are you an asshole? Probably. <laughs> How are your two dads doing? What? Oh, uh, here's a smart question. Where do you get exploits like the magic bullet? Uh, well, we reverse the game. Well, we have a boy. Oh, so you do have a boyfriend after all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Mm. It's a voiceover, yes. The... It's a voiceover because the cheat developers and the interviewer, um, um, they all speak in uh, Russian. Owners of one of the most popular cheats in Counter-Strike. The guy on the left is a COO, and on the right we have the owner and developer. They'll answer a lot of interesting questions. How are they not afraid to show themselves like this? This is just a Valve lawsuit inbound, or am I tripping? about development, problems, and earnings of cheats without mentioning their names. This video is made for educational purposes. We don't promote playing with cheats. We stand against cheaters in the competitive scene. I'd appreciate it if you drop a like if you enjoyed this kind of Russia? content. Russia? Yeah, but still, is it not because right now we had in Germany a guy who was doing some stuff that the, um, popu like that the average populace uh, didn't like, and then he just uh, got beat up on the street? It's It's... There's a lot of people aspiring to be uh, um, uh, pros in Russia, right? The scene is huge there. This is just to show your face like this. It's, uh, I think it's nuts, no? <clears throat> like I don't want anything of this, but it's 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 it comes with something. I don't know if they're aware. So first, let's start with a question about anonymity. Yeah, I was shocked because I was sure that we were going to have to shoot this video without showing your faces. I was sure you'd want to stay anonymous. So why are you so open? Well, why not? We're not doing anything illegal and don't hide. There's no point in hiding our faces or something. My social media pages have always been open to the public and I always use my nickname. So there's no point in hiding for me. If someone wanted to find me, they could easily find my VK, Telegram and personal photos. So what's the point? But what if Russia acts like China and tries to imprison cheat developers? What will you do then? Actually, Russia already has one case. It's a criminal case in some World of Tanks cheats. That guy was given a probation, but as far as I can judge, that case is pretty sluggish and it was started by a developer of the game. If someone wanted to imprison us, uh, anonymity wouldn't help us at all. Mm. Yeah. I'm not in Russia right now, so... Can you remember any cases when someone dug up some info on you? Well, yeah, it happens all the time. Someone got my info from some government registry, found my old photos. There's no point in fighting this. If people want to find info, they will. We work officially in Russia, and if you have someone's personal tax number, you'll find everything about them. Oh wait, I know that your kind of company can't accept more than 150 million rubles in a year. Well, my limit is actually 200 million, but yeah, I didn't surpass it yet. In Russia, you're registered as an individual entrepreneur, and you think it's legal. Wait, 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 wait. How much is that? 200 million rubles? Two mil. <clears throat> Interesting. But many others think otherwise and run payments anonymously through crypto. Why? Uh, why are you mm, so open about it? Well, many people in cheats do it like me, in Counter-Strike at least. The biggest European cheat providers have open companies in Switzerland and the Netherlands registered to their real names. No one hides because we don't break any criminal laws, so government can't have any issues with us. Yes, companies might hold a grudge against us about trademarks usage, but it all regulates in civil court. There were some cases in China when cheat devs were imprisoned. Were they sued by the government or the game's developer? Well, with China, it's both. Uh, it's very tied up there. The government and the publisher are interested in this. I don't know who initiated this, but if it's a criminal case, then those cheat devs broke Chinese criminal law. If they, like South Korea, prohibit cheating by law, then people might end up in prison. Tell us how did... Dude, that region is ahead of that game, I swear, when it comes to digital stuff, no? 
as well scammers. And uh, the only time when people got imprisoned for for CS scams, one guy uh, 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 basically scammed a friend, like he borrowed items and then he just stole them. <laughs> the guy sued him and, and uh, he ended up as well in prison. Um, cheats, you you like when you play CS, I think you have to connect. Uh, um, your ID or something with Perfect World. So it's like basically per person, you can only have one account. Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. But this is as far as I know. So when someone cheats, they're basically gone forever. You just can't reinstall the game on another account because you can't have another account. Um, and there are there are as well um, punishments for things. If you do, um, yeah, if you do cheat in the games, they can just, they just look at your, your, your username and suck. There you have it. How did you get into Cheat Dev? How did it all start? Well, it all started with um, some strange accounts in Counter Strike Lobby. They were advertising something, and uh, I didn't cheat back then. I was curious how it works. Uh, and after some time, the program's code was published on the internet. You're talking about those XYZ bots, right? Yes, uh, it was. Hashtag fix CSGO. So you saw that you can do some stupid things in CSGO and decided. After that, I launched those bots and got VAC banned. I found out that there's a lot of resources to learn from. My friend and I, who I was playing with, enjoyed programming, and we had some pet projects together. It was fun. How many years did it take to make the first MVP? I'm not sure about MVP, but we released our cheat after eight months. Though I can't call it a good quality cheat, we still sold something back then. How many VAC bands did you get while testing? More than a thousand? I think less than a thousand, but we don't count them. Well, getting VAX while developing a cheat is no surprise. But if a developer is smart enough, he'll only need 10 to 15 accounts to cover every possible hole. This one's pretty primitive, but I have to ask it. Don't you feel like bad people? Well, it's not black and white. Obviously, we want to do something. I already know what argument they're going to bring. I feel like people in this situation always give the exact same argument. If we don't do it, someone else is gonna. <sighs> I swear, it's always the argument with people. Like, it's always that one argument, bro, of of gambling site owners and everything like this. Something with our lives besides making cheats. I'm trying to do so. That's one of the reasons why we're focusing on HVH and think it's right what? when cheaters are playing against cheaters. It's a separate game mode. So, I don't have any remorse doing HVH. But how many people use cheats for HVH? I think most of them use them for competitive games and even cheat on the pro scene. Well, with our cheats, uh, you can't play on face it. Matchmaking is pretty much HVH right now. And yeah, it's true, because hackers have nowhere else to play. We're trying to develop some infrastructure and develop HVH matchmaking. So why isn't it possible to play on face it with your cheat? Because face it has anti-cheat. <laughs> yes. Face it has a driver anti-cheat, and we never tried to fool it. Because our cheat isn't about matchmaking, face it, esports, or any kind of legit game. We're about hack versus hack. Are there any cheats that work on face it? Well, of course, I, any game has cheats. Is there any cheat that is still not banned by face it? How do I ensure my cheat isn't banned there? I get why you don't work on it, because you'll have to find some workarounds every time. But there are cheats that work on face it. How? What matters first is the developer's skill. Second is how the people are using the cheat and having regular updates. What works in Face It Now? Some driver cheats, boot kits, and then uh, DMA is the most hyped thing right now. Direct memory access, a card that is inserted into a computer and has direct access to the PC's memory and can, for example, transfer data to another PC. Ah, uh -huh. uh, and by reading the memory, it can see like like info about the game as well, aka wall hack and shit, like radar. Mm -hmm. DMA means not gonna lie, it, it like uh, it everything, but just understanding how it works. I think this is intriguing. Like just like like understanding like why does this even work? Like to me, this is like 
Crazy. Mm -mm. Direct access to a game's memory. Thus, we can see everything of that's course, being used for a bad thing, but I still think it's very interesting. ...happening in the game, and any anti-cheat won't notice a thing. But DMA cheats have one special thing. Its developers must always be on the alert to find new ways to hide it. Because uh, anti-cheats get regular updates. Also, the funniest thing is that many Face It AC staff came there from developing cheats. Ah! Yes. I didn't know this. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, right? Yeah, red, 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 red hat hacker turned uh, 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 um, green. Interesting. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Oh, the thing is, Valve would probably never do the same, bro. Because they hate those guys s so much, you know, even though it can be done in a, in a good way. Like, there's a lot of people that turn from, from black hat hackers, like from, from hacking things to then turning into pen testers. I don't know. <clears throat> It's the same with Valorant. They're just so ahead. These people reach some barrier or their life values change and they start to move in the other direction. Well, it seems like the best anti-cheat developer would be the person who created cheats in the past. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Because he knows exactly how everything works. And he was on the same page with the people who he's battling. Let's imagine you get contacted by Valve and they tell you to close your cheats and work on their AC. Would you agree? In theory, I think many people in our team uh, would be interested in it. But in reality, knowing how Valve do business, even how they handle their Twitter, Valve used to be a company that's interested in developing games. But right now, they're acting like a monopolist in a business world. And people who aim for self-growth and to do some cool stuff suffocate there. Because Valve's priority is to make skins, and earn money. Sadly, that's how I see Valve now. They just, they just spent four years on making a whole new game and a whole new engine. Nah. Dude, nine. Guys, arguments like this make l less sense than ever. Am I tripping? Just because an anti-cheat isn't working right now, like uh, about a whole new game and a whole new engine, uh, it, it doesn't mean that, uh, that, that they still look into like always better things, create products. You're nuts. I can speak for many of our devs now. They wouldn't be interested in working only for money. They need to get knowledge and new skills and play that cat and mouse game. We started this project with a friend who I played Counter-Strike with, and we were always together as developers. To this day, I still do some programming myself. For instance, I code almost everything for our cheat's defense. But yeah, I try to focus on other things like matchmaking or cheats for other games. Yeah, the guys made a very cool thing. They launched their own matchmaking where everyone plays with cheats. I can't say- That's what I mentioned earlier today. That's what I mentioned earlier today. I said like, is there a way to uh, 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 to fix the cheating problem if you just like isolate the people? But again, I don't think it works because people cheat. Don't cheat to play against cheaters. They just want to bash people without cheats, you know? It's about like having the bigger dick uh, in the lobby. <clears throat> I think, I don't know. They want to f people this day. You know, I, I think, I don't know, like, it's, 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 this is probably just like 5% who will actually want to play cheat v cheat. It's bad, because it brings something new. If people use cheats only on your servers, then the idea is pretty cool. It's important to understand that now, HVH is a competitive game where people win with their wits. They aren't just run. Is there actually some strategy to HV8? Chat, I'm trying to be completely objective. We are all people right now who are listening to this, who love the game, who are very invested emotionally, everything. Um, uh, maybe as well financially, if you have skins and everything. But HVH, if I would look at it in another game, it's like, yeah, it's like an outside space. It's a mod. Uh, everyone is wall hack. It's a game mode. How does HVH and Counter-Strike look like? Is there strategy to it it's just whoever has the more expensive cheat no and whoever has the right settings <clears throat> bro that sounds like boring as hell it's just whoever pays more spin and kill each other no they outplay each other with bunny hops and grenades mm. yes flashbangs aren't a problem for us but still mollies um, he's because you only need to do eight hp of damage with it 
and it's lethal for your enemy. If you leave an enemy with 8 HP, no, uh, minus 8, uh, 92 HP means that you can make a lethal shot with a scout. So you need to throw nades, yes. Also, CSGO didn't have no spread, so you couldn't jump and shoot straight with the op. In CS2, on the contrary, we have a lot of interesting functions that allow you to run and jump with the op and still shoot without any problems. But someday uh, Valve will fix it. And the good old competitive game will be back. You'll have to not only run and gun, but also think about what you do. So we want to make a HVH league because it already has solo players, teams, and tournaments with prize money. Why can't Valve just do what face it does, bro? It's Colonel, right? Ach, Bruder. It is apparently against their philosophy, like we heard it from Richard Lewis. Um, um, he has talked ages ago with him, the philosophy may have changed, but Valve's philosophy against Colonel, against taking all the info, um, because they don't think you need it. Um, right now it's really bad, of course, but... Will we revolutionize the business with AI anti-cheat? One day. Hope it doesn't take long. <clears throat> oh my god, what? Yeah, they have teams and events with prizes. And sponsors. What? Yeah, cheat devs themselves could fund these events. <laughs> That's interesting. The biggest tournament had like 3000 or $5,000. Stop. Huh? Yes. But who funds these things? Except for cheat devs, of course. Oh, I don't want to say it. Dude, do you know this one site which is sponsoring majors? I swear on God. <laughs> I, I saw some CS major sponsors on some... Uh, on some, uh, on some, uh, uh, on some uh, uh, sassy videos. Let's just say that, <laughs> bro. It's just like they just they're the sponsored by the major sponsor. Ain't no way, bro. I said, bro, just, yeah, I had to go to another video, bro. It felt weird. I had to think about the major. Teams and people are interested in watching it. <laughs> people bro. from this community are very interested in it. Many of these people don't even play legit CS anymore. They only play HVH. Imagine a land with 10 cheaters, with analysts and esports casters. Well, don't even think about LAN. Uh, the HVH community is very toxic. They love to find info on each other. Not that long ago, uh, one guy uh, had a fight with Overdrive. They found his phone number, his address, and ordered pizza uh, to his name. Because the HVH community is very toxic and very young. So they don't understand that oh, their actions... I was a part of a, com a community like this, bro. One to one. Where well, shout out to the Hypixel Pit guys. Nar, Bro, a game mode in Hypixel Minecraft, which I got way too deep inside. Like I was in the Discord, everything, bro. And there's stories about people ratting each other by making Minecraft cheat clients. And then they're like downloading into, uh, each other's cheat client and then they hack their accounts. They take the items, Hypixel Pit items. There's some worthful items who are like worth thousands. Um, even though RL trading isn't allowed, but they still do it. They, they just like rat each other with, with clients and stuff. It's nuts. It's nuts. Hypixel Pit community, it's like, let's say, I don't know, 500 active players maximum, but it's sussy deluxe, deluxe. <clears throat> Cause a lot of discomfort for older people. It's just a joke for them. It's funny to make a fool out of someone. Ha ha, something like that. Earlier, uh, people uh, even swatted each other. There was a lot of swatting noise two years ago, and some people were even imprisoned. And after that, uh, oh, people calmed down and stopped doing these things. That's phenomenal. You can create a project where you don't need an anti-cheat. Each project of this kind suffers from a lot of cheaters. They come in and break the competition. I, I know some people will judge me, but I think the idea to host an HVH LAN is great. Well, I think the audience would love to hear voice comms between the two teams. <laughs> I just love the idea to host a tournament. Imagine me making a video, 5v5 HVH tournament. Uh, but these people uh, wouldn't show their faces, right? Uh, totally, totally. Uh, this community is so toxic that no one would dare to go IRL. Uh, how many people are there in your team? About 20. If we don't count testers, uh, then... Bro, do you know what's the worst part about this, bro? That this cheat dev team is probably has more people than Valve. <laughs> <laughs> GG. Ach, oh, scheiße. Working on CS. Oh, man. How many do we actually have working on CS? 
There were some numbers thrown around like ages ago, and it was very few, very few. <clears throat> like less than 30 or something. 24 cheat dev team. Ouch. 30 to 50. There we go. Boah. And then there's 20 people, and the, the, it's a cat and mouse game. But the cheater is always ahead. <clears throat> because Valve needs to find answers, they just need to find a new way. Yes. And how many testers do you have? About uh, 10 people full time. How big is your month? Is it a part of the 20 or on top? Bro, literally as big as CS's team. Where? salary fund i think up to about fifteen thousand euros which salary is the biggest in your company a month or year who gets it well if we talk about employees then the highest paid one would be our uh, back-end guy is it more than four thousand dollars well it's close what's the average salary in your team it's hard to say because we have people who work one hour a day and people who work 25 hours a day, eight days a week. I think I can name $600, maybe a bit higher. How do people find you? You don't publish vacancies on the web, right? It depends, actually. So do you really publicly search for employees? No. Wait, what? 25 hours a day? What do you say? I don't get that. No, it depends on the position we need to fill. We know a lot of people and usually find new employees. 25 to 8? What? He's through connections. For instance, uh, we found like they play all like they work all the time or what? So just like me, that's what I do. Lol. A project manager through our developer. We were talking about cheat devs who move to anti cheats, like face it. How much do you think uh, they're getting paid? Yeah, there were some cases, even on Reddit or Twitter, when ex cheat devs were signed by face it or Valorant. I think they have a huge salary because there's a lot of responsibility. They also sign NDAs, and if face it AC code gets leaked, then the whole platform will become a home for yeah, cheaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think those guys earn at least 10,000 euros a month. You have a team of 20 people, but what about other projects? Are there cheats from a single geeky person? Is it even possible to have a good cheat with regular updates and develop it without any help? I don't think so, because popular cheats also includes working with community and promotion. You also need to have good protection. Cheats are, are like games. They can be reversed. And other cheat devs will happily reverse your cheat and take your ideas, so they don't have to do the extra work themselves. Lord. One person can't... Dude, I don't know if I should say this. A friend of mine... Back when he was a little bit into, like, uh, uh, did some stupid investment uh, uh, decisions in um, uh, NFTs. Schuldig. Um, and bro, there was one portfolio manager or something where you could see how much everything is worth with ups and downs, nice graphs and stuff. And it, it cost, like, 400 bucks to get access to that, right? It was a web page where you had to log in and stuff. And I swear on God, a friend of his friend could just go inspect Element and he just downloaded the whole thing without the password uh, be in front of it. And there were uh, like uh, there were there were people and NFT nerds who paid like four hundred for it, bro. It, it, it was the the friend still played paid the four hundred because he felt bad. But bro, it, it, it like this, stuff like this to make something safe of not just being copied. Uh, that seems as well to be like a big thing. <laughs> Handle all of this. Yeah, there are some good projects with. Relatively small teams. I don't know how many people they have, but less than us, and they still do a good job. But on the contrary, we have projects like, I think there are hundreds of people working for them. There are cheats with hundreds of people. They have cheats for many different games. How many games do you know? A thousand? These guys have at least 300 cheats. They're multimillionaires, right? Yeah, like that Chinese guy who was arrested with 30 sports cars and all that stuff. Their strategy is not quality, but quantity. So, like a cheat factory. Yeah, they release a cheat. Chat, quick little like... I love how everyone is like kind of open-minded right now because I could see like uh, like I go into a video like this if I would see my title and see like watch this video and stuff uh, coming in right now I would be like what the hell why are you watching this uh, every like hey <clears throat> cuz that I can watch something like this I think this can be interest I find this very interesting to hear from that side as well the people that I don't like but it's, it's I still think it's very interesting <clears throat>
it in one to and two days. can be done right. Is after a game gets released. How is that even possible? Game devs don't even try to protect their games? So cheat devs can fool them in one day? No, the problem lies in the popularity of game engines. 10 or 15 years ago, game studios had their own engines without an open source code, and cheat devs had to explore it. Now we have like around three to five engines, and all of the game devs use them. Wait, I don't know if this should. Wait. Is everyone being open minded? Oh, is my whole chat cheating? Wait, hold up. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Whoa, whoa. Seeing a little bit. Too little uh, of uh, 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 of like the opposite side right now. Uh, what? LG Press Creepers. <laughs> Uh, Unreal Engine, Unity, uh, Source. <laughs> Unreal Engine lies on uh -oh. GitHub, completely open. There's no problem in building a base and then applying it to every Unreal Engine game. Which engine is hardest for cheating? The unpopular ones, because there's not a lot of info about them. Let's imagine a map. Which country has the most... That's kind of scary. He just said... Unpopular engines, engines that you don't really know a lot about, are hard to make cheats for? Bro, we just released a new game and a whole new engine. Is source to open source or something? Or what's going on? Most cheat usage by players. Oh god. Germany is up there. No? The amount of players? No, the percentage of cheaters in the player base. China, I think. What? Yeah, totally. I, I wanted to say CIS at first, but China is way bigger. And what if we imagine the same map, but uh -huh. of cheat developers? Europe, I think? But no, still China. There are many developers in Germany. Yeah, Europe, maybe. It's hard to talk about China, because the region is absolutely closed. They have their own internet and unique community. But yeah, it gets leaked that China has the most cheat usage by players. And what about developers? Uh, no dev. In CS or in all, like, in general? Because I thought in China it does get handled differently, where people actually go to prison and you have, like, the whole thing with you give your data when you play a game and then when you cheat, then uh, GG. Must be in general, right? Because perfect world, like, if you cheat, you, you, your account is gone. It's connected to your personality. It's... Um, can't be uh, China, or? Unless, mate, do the people who cheat from, from the Asian, Asian region, do they just hop on a VPN and use a Steam account and not a Perfect World account? Probably. <clears throat> they just probably don't cheat on those, like. They just probably cheat in, like, in, like our area. <clears throat> or something. Huh. I will ever admit he's from China because it's considered criminal there. The yeah. Chinese government supports local game dev. There's a big company called Tencent, and it would never be so big without Chinese support. Do you have info about any tier one player that uses cheats? Oh! Only theoretical. It's most likely possible. I'm not sure about tier one, but anyway, no one would say something like that, because it would stir the pot. But there are 100% some cheaters in tier two and tier three. There are also some face it cheats, but they need to be secure and protected. The most popular thing right now is DMA. It's something like a separate PCI card or M2 SSD. It has direct access to a PC's memory and can get info from a game's memory while not triggering any checks by Faceit AC if everything is done right. Uh -huh. How much would an invite to this cheat cost? It depends on the developer, his skills, his popularity, etc. It can be anywhere from three hundred to a thousand five hundred dollars. But if we're talking about tier three level or higher, oftentimes cheat developers get a cut of the player's winnings. Ah! <laughs> Where's this coming from? He just said, "Yo, uh, we don't like. You can't really say. I just have some assumptions." Yeah, but they get a cut, bro. Bro, the, the, bro. Do they supply a cheat or what? Uh, pro, hey, <laughs> how does he know this info? So th there must be some. I mean, okay, he said in tier one he doesn't know, but tier three, yeah, tier three, tier two, that's probably a lot. Oh, <clears throat> oh my god, yeah, it's true. At least I know of some cases from a few years ago. So, what are these cheats? Damn. Wall hack, 
It's not aimbot, right? Because that's got to be the easiest one to spot. Actually, it's easier to get caught uh, with wall hack. Seriously? It's more like an aimbot or aim assist. Mm -hmm. Many people think that aimbot is the easiest one to spot because your crosshair sticks to the enemy's head. But today, smart cheat devs are on a completely different level. Today, some cheats can adapt to your playstyle by checking how fast you move the mouse and what kind of KDA you have. It's like on consoles, but not as aggressive as Call of Duty. Everything is smooth because the cheat analyzes how you play and tries... Oh, we got AI cheats before AI anti-cheat. GG, GG. <clears throat> is, that, is that AI? Or is it just like all hard-coded manual? Oi, oi, oi. <clears throat> it analyzes your playstyle, bro is to imitate you. I'm going to show you a video now That's from the crazy. pro scene, and I want you to tell me what you think. Veggie clip. Oh. Oh. It's tier three. Uh, can you explain that? why he did this? I've never seen that before. At first glance, it looks like the molly got smoked, and the player imagined an enemy there. And then it looks like a radar. But you need to look more closely at this player's demos and analyze what he does in tense situations like this. Oftentimes you can see it at a distance. A person will play calmly a few games in a row, and then in an important match, he gets nervous and he realizes that he might lose if he doesn't use cheats now. It can cause... <laughs> It's his client. <laughs> Imagine, bro. Lol. Situations like, he's there. Fuck. That was a wall. Oh, so yeah, it's possible he has some cheats. But we would need to analyze more of his demos. All right, here's one more. А че он нас увидел позже? Мы видели того человека в девятке, да? Не стали его убивать, думая, что они нас проебали. И у нас есть тайминг. То есть хорошая команда, которая нас выиграла, играет такой сетап, что одного могут ебать двух, а второй смотрит ему вообще с той позиции, где у него не первый угол, не первый контакт. Как бы уебал бы чем-нибудь. Йоу, 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 йоу. I don't know what's going on in this clip, but why did it record it as if he's like on a cruise ship, bro, and out of a window? What is this? Why is it... Why... So please tell me, what was that? The game's new, and I also noticed some strange things with the sounds. Sometimes you hear something, like it's far away, but it's actually close to you. Again, we would need to check their demos, but it looks very strange. The unsuspecting player turns 180 degrees because he knows there's no enemies. He already has a teammate who checks the middle, but he went there anyways. So it's fair to assume that this guy knows a bit more than an honest player would. How do you detect a radar hack? I want to know what rank what rank these guys are. These guys seem like somewhat like or not somewhat. These guys seem like seem like knowledgeable about the game, no? Because I remember like some people who are in charge of very important things. Like there was a case if you remember. I think it was the an RMR for a major and one team called out another team um for why are they rotating here? And then the and then the admin said they rotated because what was it? Because you pulled out your knife. Like it was a mirage clip. One team pulled out the and the enemy you can't hear when you pull out a knife, bro. It was it's a bro. And they like justified it like he's not cheating. You you he heard you rotate pulling out the knife. GG. It was a bit more than an honest player would. How do you detect a radar hack? Our team just finished an ISEA advanced season and 9 out of 16 playoff teams supposedly used a radar hack. Hmm? How can you solve this problem? How do you find a radar hack? I mean, 
they have those cameras in the back. <laughs> Bro, this message. This whole video is bullshit. Caesar showers are wax secured, which means cheats get in instantly detected. <laughs> Who's gonna tell him? Oh no. Ack on the left and on the right. <laughs> Bro. But even that's not enough. <laughs> They still manage to win those games. Uh, maybe a coach tells them where to go? How do they do it? There's one interesting function from one of our developers. This radar is unique because your crosshair color changes just a, a little on the huh? side where the enemy is coming from. Or some net graph stats. Leaked? For instance, the last number of your net graph will tell you the coordinates of your enemy. So there are a huge what? amount of great solutions for radar hack. My first recommendation for you is this. Half of these cheaters will fail to play on Face It. It happened on Face It. Well, then there's nothing left to do other than deeply analyze demos or to play on a LAN. But you need to pass an online. Dude, that's smart as hell, bro. I can always respect a good idea, like a creative idea. The net graph for coordinates. Dude, you're just, you're just not. I mean, now he leaked it. Now he leaked it. <clears throat> Lol. What else is there gonna be? This blows my mind right now. Like I never would have considered that. What else is there? <clears throat> oh yo yo. What may actually get used? Methods that methods that you don't know about. That he's not just like revealing like this. Stage to qualify for a LAN. More likely, all of them used uh, DMA, and there's no way to catch them. Well, first of all, since all of these tournaments are held on Face It, there should be some control from admins. We had a situation on an online tournament against a team supposedly using radar hack. Who? We lost and asked them to send recordings of how their side was playing. Four players did so, but the fifth didn't send us the files. What? Eventually they said, all right, you win. We don't even want to play this anymore. So they won the game, but got a technical loss because one of the players refused to send his recordings of the game. This happened just in the last few months for me. <laughs> the only advice I can give you is to always act ballsy and ask for recordings. It's possible that only one player used a DMA and fed info to each of his teammates. Or even a coach who's not asked to record anything. Yeah, yeah, coaches don't record. My recommendation for TOs would be to use the latest, most aggressive Face It AC build and pay more attention to logs. Because all these DMAs will inevitably leave some logs in the anti-cheat. They will mask as SSD, USB, audio cards, etc. But it's still possible to find something and make a case. But the problem is that an admin needs to check every game and every log. It's a lot of money, even for Face It. But that's the only chance that the pro scene has to truly be safe. But yeah, if the DMA's developer is super skilled, then a LAN is really the ultimate decision. All right, uh, let's switch to other games. Valorant. Everyone loves it. Oh. They have their own anti-cheat that's embedded into the very core of your PC. Is it really that good? Yeah, it's not bad. Oh. It's unique because it started before Windows. Valorant's AC launches with UEFI. It's a thing that came after BIOS. That's a boot kit, uh, the anti-cheats driver. To put it simply, it's loaded on the very early stage of the whole system launch. Then it analyzes your system from the inside, every function. Can it detect DMA cheats? What is DMA? You have a PCIe, and direct memory access is just a setting over the PCI. The anti-cheat sees that there's some device connected through PCI and some driver. It doesn't know this driver. It may, in theory, find out something, but not 100%. Let's talk about the future. How do you see anti-cheats in five years? Is Valorant's idea okay, or is it an outdated thing for this day and age? I think if Valve hasn't implemented this idea after all these years, then we had the Face It AC, and then Valorant did practically the same thing. If Valve hasn't done it in all this time, I highly doubt it's going to happen in the future. As far as I understand, they decided to develop their own unique solutions, like the trust factor, which will separate players. Cheaters will play with cheaters, 
toxic players will be matched with similar ones. If Valve didn't ban cheaters, then they would stop complaining to cheat. Their Dude, I think the idea is good. I think the idea is good. No? Because cheaters will always exist, no matter which game. And imagine you can separate them. You let them cheat, but they just don't play against normal players. What he just said, like how Valve tries to separate them with Trust Factor. On paper, it's... Why question mark? On paper, that's a really good idea. How? How, bro? There will always be cheaters. Was? You make crazy anti-cheat... Uh, uh, okay, in Valorant, they somehow... If you... Mm, terrible take. I don't know. Is it? <clears throat> is it? Trust factor plus anti-cheat. Yeah, of course. A combination. You don't just want to go full... Uh, no anti-cheat game. Um, but... Um, I don't know. <clears throat> the separation, I think it makes sense. Because cheaters are going to cheat no matter what. They al always find a way, you know? And then if you can place them in the same bucket. Low factor new players will get matched with cheaters. Yeah, of course, that would have to be like, there would have to be, uh, you would have to fix that. But yeah, chat kernel level, if, uh, how he said it, Valve never did it. We heard from, from sources that it's against their policy, uh, against their philosophy. Maybe we will never see it. They, they, they think it's, it's doable without. They just haven't found it yet. Maybe, maybe one, maybe tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> it's been now how long? Almost a year? Three quarters of, of a year since release? Ay, ay, ay. Developers and get them to improve cheats. That may be more effective. Isn't the easiest way against cheaters? Because I, I remember um, thinking about I had a really, really game. I had a game that I really, really loved, Dark and Darker, and it cost like a couple of bucks. And I was like, bro, if this game was free to play, this would be one of the coolest games ever. It would be so big. Um, but one of the easiest anti-cheats you can get is just to have a paywall, no? Because, um, and then you still have some anti-cheat and ban cheaters, but um, to have this like monetary uh, punishment behind it. CS is free. <laughs> but Valorant is free. They, they, they have a solution. And honest players would suffer less. Secondly, VACnet has been announced. We don't know how long it's been working, but it's possible that all the True, Prime is not free. How much is Prime? I actually don't know. I never thought about the process of, of getting into CS as, as someone new. I bought my Prime. No, I got my Prime ages ago. I don't even know. 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. So the people, you can't play Premiere without Prime, right? <clears throat> I never thought about it. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. The data that VAC collects now will help to develop VACnet. So you're saying that Valve are looking towards AI? Well, I think that today they're more focused on separating players. No. They detect cheaters, but they don't ban them. There's a rumor that the new CS2... Is that the play? You all are saying, L, it could be genius, though. It could be. No? Imagine a world if it works 100% of the time. Every cheater gets matched, matched against cheaters. Normal players play against normal players. Where's the problem? <clears throat> You don't play this cat and mouse game anymore. Utopian, yeah, it would be, or... Just imagine if... <sighs> Ban them? Bro, there will always be cheaters. In every game you have cheaters. It's, 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 it's... And if you let the cheaters only play against cheaters... The, the, the utopian idea, if it works 100%, that's, that's, that's crazy. AC has a lot of functions that haven't been enabled to this day. Why is that? No, uh, these functions are enabled, but Valve just don't ban for them. They see that some player does some strange things, and he's 90% cheating, but for some reason, Valve doesn't block them. Well, if Valve would ban players for it, then cheat devs would find loopholes for them in a uh -huh. month. But even though players don't get blocked, Valve still collects logs. So to summarize, you think that machine learning is a lot better than what Valorant or Faceit are doing today, right? Well, for one, it doesn't load up on a client's PC, and generally it's a lot safer when everything happens on a server. You can reverse any client software and understand how it works, but for what happens on the server, you can only guess. They have a lot of info in those logs, and when you finally get banned, you don't know what the cause is. Regarding software anti-cheat for CS2, 
This solution isn't any good in my opinion. And the reason is pretty sad. This anti-cheat will lower the game's performance by a lot. What? If a person had 60 FPS in CS2 on Why? his laptop, installing Valorant or Face It AC can easily get it down to 20 FPS. And you won't be able to play at all. At the beginning of Valorant and its AC, that was an interesting case. The first version of Valorant AC could completely ruin your Windows machine. Restart, death screen, the end. What happened? Plain and simple, the anti-cheat developers didn't fix all the issues with each Windows versions, because there are so many of them. Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 7, 8, 8.1. Moreover, you have monthly patches. And Vista! Where's my Vista enjoy us? Holy best Windows ever, Tuck. Each of these updates could easily break your AC or otherwise. What is the main function that could easily catch cheaters but hasn't been added to anti-cheats yet? Well, it's hard to point out a specific function that can detect cheaters with 100% accuracy. Rather, we can take a different approach and look at AI. Wait, chat. Wait, so he was here? He said it's not a good option because it's because kernel level it, it can drag down FPS? Was that towards kernel level or uh, 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 AI? Not AI, right? Okay, okay. But hasn't been added to anti-cheats yet. Well, it's hard to point out a specific function that can detect cheaters with 100% accuracy. Rather, we can take a different approach and look at AI. It's better to not hold your AC on the client side, because any developer can reverse it, yeah. understand how it works, yeah. um, how to fool it, etc. Instead, Valve can have something like an AI on their server Ooh. that will deeply analyze players. This way, devs will have to guess what they should do in order to stop getting banned or hidden pools. We discussed it yesterday. So you think that Valve will make their anti-cheat in AI because they're a company that loves innovations and doesn't want to copy somebody? So they want to create a new meta, AI anti-cheats, right? Yeah, well, I have my own personal theory that won't be supported by many other developers. In Valve's place, I would analyze a player very deeply. His movement, mouse and keyboard usage, yeah. his average KDA, and other stats, and increases or decreases in stats. Because when a player starts to use cheats, his behavior changes a lot, and that could be noticed. Yeah. Also, mouse movement gets affected a lot. So if an AI analyzes normal players and compared them with cheaters, then it could detect cheats. We already have one case that, in my personal opinion, supports this method. I'm talking about CS2 bans for high DPI and sense. I think you saw those videos where the guy turns mm -hmm. on 16 or 32,000 DPI, then spins his mouse for a minute and Skip gets back banned. Yeah. In my opinion, that was one of the first signs that an AI is analyzing a yeah, yeah, player's yeah. behavior. That person was as clean as it gets, but still he got back banned. Why? Most likely because Vacnet analyzed his mouse movement and saw that it was very unusual. Yeah, machine learning has its flaws. This guy used very high DPI just for fun and ended up getting banned. What should they do about that? As Dimitri said, it's more about separating cheaters from other players. Instead of bans, just move a player to a pool. Is he just saying this argument? Because that means, like, they can keep selling their cheats? Of course, like, uh, this this interview is probably not fully unbiased. <clears throat> because that solution, you move the cheaters away, they will still buy cheats. Um, <clears throat> but, bro, interesting his take on AI anti-cheat. Because he's a guy who's, like, fully involved. Damn. I'm telling you, bro, I said this for over half a year now. There's no way... You release a game that you worked on for four years. You had CSGO. What's the, num what's the number one negative about CSGO? 
apart from some performance issues maybe here and there, like the game crashing, blah, blah, blah. Anti-cheat, cheaters. You don't cook up a game for four years with no plan about the number one negative. You don't. You don't, bro. You don't. It's been months and months and months, over half a year of people cheating their ass off. He just said, people cheat. Therefore, they, they can be 90% sure that the guy is cheating, but Vive doesn't ban them. Why is that? They collect data. Demo by demo, day by day, game by game. We know you cheat. We let you cheat. We collect data. We analyze you. We collect data of millions of games that we know cheaters are in. And when we launch the AI anti-cheat, it's over, bro. It's over. You understand? 100%. It has to be. It has to be, bro. Valve is that guy. They are that guy, bro. They are innovating. For sure, for sure, for sure. Any day now. Any day now. Couple more demos. Couple more demos. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Full of similar players. Bro, please, please. Oh God! Imagine one day they just announced. Uh, they just announced. Yeah, here at Zack, we improved our anti-cheat. And it's just like you realize they have nothing going on, and it's just like everyone still cheats the ass off, you know? Oh my days! Bro, please be a anti-cheat and you collect data, please, bro, please. And analyze what he'll do there. Moreover, you can dispute. You sacrifice half a year of the game for eternity for the game. You understand? Valve. Absolute genius. And if an AI decides to ban you because of some specific action, you can contact support and have a human check your case. Then he will see that you are just fooling around and having fun, so you'll get unbanned without any problems. It is AI, so of course it will make mistakes. Can you say what the percentage is of players who use cheats? My theory is that one out of every 10 players cheats. I suspect 10%, yeah. Huh? yeah. But cheating isn't only stuff like an aimbot. Guys, this guy develops cheats. This is not an uneducated guess. One out of 10? 10 players a game. Oh, man. Do the math. <clears throat> Bro. And it's just gonna grow. That number is not going down, right? With the game's estate, that number is probably increasing day by day. Because if you play against cheaters, what's the number one reason for someone turning into a cheater? They played against cheaters. And you wanna fight back because you feel useless. Oi, oi, oi. 10%. Also, of my chat, 1.3k cheaters are here. No. Guys, just say if you're cheating. Just say so. Just say so. Come on. Type one if you cheat. <clears throat> <laughs> oh jeepers Dude imagine Should I make a poll? Let me see This is anonymous This is anonymous Do you cheat in CS2? Keep it real Keep it actually real Around 10% <clears throat> There will be some trolling Of course Probably minus 5% for trolling. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, if I catch you. Ah! Maybe we can even call it 20 to 30 or 40% of people use cheats. Um, in CSGO, at least. You know why I don't need cheats? Because I'm f good at the game, bro. Just get good, bro. Just get good, bro. You don't need aimbot. All you need is this. And a mouse. I'm telling you, bro. Trust me. Trust me. Do some aimbot today. Trust me, bro. Because cheat is a very broad term. Dude, you lost to five silvers. Bro, I want to revive them! I can't, I can't. There can be a case farm or a vertigo boost. Huh? And huh? they're both. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go, at least. Because cheat is a very broad term. What's the there question? Hot topic, because this is face it related again, like with the console command. Uh, but cheating isn't only stuff like an aimbot. Ah. Maybe we can even call it 20 to 30 or 40% of people use cheats. Um, in CSGO, at True. least. Because I use cheats. I changed my view model. I used the console command. Bang. Mm -mm. Cheat. That's an advantage. Is a very broad term. There can be a case farm. I make my NVIDIA config perfect. 
Nein, but it, it, like, it, it is true, there's, there's levels to cheating, no? Um, there's something that is in the game, and for me, cheats, for me, cheats, and I know you guys don't agree with this, but for me, maybe it's just I'm German and I don't understand the, the word right, or it's just, I don't know. To me, it's, 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 it's cheat, cheat, if somebody uses external software. Anything external. Anything external. <clears throat> Even NVIDIA. Um, I don't do that, by the way. But anything external. You download an Excel for f***ing or like or whatever, bang. If there's a console command in CS, fix that fucking shit. Um, it's gonna be gone after a day anyways. You have a whitelisted wallet command. Um, let's not get into it again. Let's not get into it again. But, it, like, it, it, like, full punish, like, uh, like, cheat, cheat. External to me. External. Anything external. GG. Or a vertigo boost. And they're both still the called a cheat. And, of course, you have your usual cheaters. And also AHK on bunny hop, etc. Oh, yes, there that? are cheats that just repeat the space bar, but have some kind of logic in their time. <sighs> I remember having an auto clicker in a, in a game back in the day. For Minecraft or something. Is that cheating? I remember I googled it. Is auto clicking allowed? <clears throat> Poor. I mean, probably. A friend of mine did it. <laughs> Nine. It was back in the day. Like some servers in Minecraft, it was like full. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, bro! I was hunting some diamonds uh, with X-ray, uh, bro. <laughs> that, that was, I wasn't even using X-ray. Any like client or something? You could literally have a texture pack <laughs> in Minecraft. <laughs> and all, all this, all, all, all the normal like grass blocks, they would be invisible, and only the diamonds show. <laughs> GG. <gasps> oh man. Timings. I was like. 15 years, 10, 14 years old, I don't know. There's actually a lot of great info that came out after shooting that interview. We all know ah. that CS2 has a premiere mode that lists uh, the best players. And I can confidently say that out of the first 100, 95 of them either play with cheats or were boosted by cheaters. Ah! Ah! The one thing we requested for CS2, the, the one of the main things. Just global elite ranks, it's not enough. We need something like Valorant. Top 500. Overwatch, top 500. Our confidently say 95%. And there's already a lot of them banned, no? Because uh, if you look at the number one in Premiere, it says that this guy is number 13, even though he's the number one. And that means either, like, bro, no way 12 of them privated their profile. Like, this, this, like, probably most of them are banned, no? Booty, no, not 12 of them are privated. Guys, you're telling me that, that everyone is privated in the, in the... What are you saying, bro? You can also see a lot of gaps in the list. There are third, fifth, sixth, seventh place, and so one is missing. These spots are taken by our accounts that aren't approved by Valve because we have a 100% win rate and a 100% HS rate. Ah. That's kind of our way of trolling Valve. Wait. It's their accounts? Oh, what? Accounts that aren't approved. Oh, we as the cheating community. Damn, bro. Survive just doesn't approve them. Do you remember? When you wanted to get into this leaderboard, you had a button here, and you had to apply to be on the leaderboard and stuff. You put your name in. Lol. So the top top 12 not approved. <laughs> Did they just give up? Bro, there's a gap of... Dude, out of the top 100 world leaderboard, this is like... Look, like it's world leaderboard, top 100. Zack, I should see everyone. We see a total of one, two, three, four, five, six players. 94 players are either banned of the leaderboard, I assume, um, or um, uh, they didn't approve. Or they're private, but not that many are private. By Valve, because we have a 100% win rate and a 100% HS rate. That's kind of our way of Headshot. trolling Valve. <laughs> There's a lot of cheats besides ours who do the same thing. Wait, you were saying that you make cheats for HVH? Uh, why did you go to Premiere? Anything 25,000 is HVH. Then it's... Ugh, Bruder. <laughs> He's right, though. Oh, man. You who created this situation. Look, starting from 25,000, you only have HVH games. 
that's the game mode. Currently, we're working on the league in order to have our own space where cheaters could play against each other and not ruin the game for innocent players. What is the competition in the cheating market? What are you fighting each other for? For making the best product possible, I suppose. What do you mean by that? Well, there are a few components to it. You need to have good shooting stats, not worse than other cheats. Right now we have the best product in CS2, if you judge it by how good it kills other cheaters. Secondly, there's user experience, how good our service is. We have a script and config uh, market, for instance, which is very important here. A player can go to our website and buy what he wants, not having to talk to someone through Discord. He also doesn't have to worry about being scammed. I mean, it's subjective, no? Because, uh, like, uh, 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 the best cheat to kill a cheater the best, the easiest <clears throat> guy from the video is top 90 in the leaderboard right now. What are you talking about? How do you know? Us? The guy in the video? Did he show, did he show it in, uh, in this part or where, buddy? Uh, the best play I've of a lot of accounts, and so one is missing. How do you know, buddy? These spots are taken by our accounts that it's me aren't approved by Valve because we have a 100% win rate and a 100% HS rate. That's kind of our way of trolling Valve. Buddy, There's how do you a know? lot of cheats besides ours. Who do the same thing. Wait, you were saying that you make cheats for HVH? Uh, why did you go to... He's in the chat. GG. I'm ready then in the Chinese 2 billion people. The value of a verified perfect world account equal to $1. Oh, wow. That's what I, that was, that's what I asked. Like, how do they do it? it? Seems to have the same source engine like CSGO, but with some upgrades. Oh, jeepers creepers. Dude, I actually have some questions as well. Let me think. What are the odds? Of Valve doing what I always say right now, where they just collect data from AI anti cheat. I said it earlier today. No way they cook on the game for four years with the number one negative about the old game being no anti cheat. Call. Ooh. With calls like this, I like to go prepped into it because else it's just like, yeah, it's, 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 I don't know. <laughs> what is the competition in? Maybe afterwards, I don't know the cheating market what are you fighting each other for for making the best product possible i suppose what do you mean by that well there are a few components to it i don't know you need to have it's getting sassy deluxe i feel uncomfortable <laughs> good shooting stats not worse than other cheats right now we have the best product in cs2 if you judge it by how good it kills other cheaters secondly there's user experience how good our service is. We have a script and config uh, market, for instance, which is very important here. A player can go to our website and buy what he wants, not having to talk to someone through Discord. He also doesn't have to worry about being scammed. As cheat developers, can you say how much money a cheat makes on average with our cheats? No, uh, the whole market. Mm, the market is very wide. A person who sells a cheat only in the Russian market will make some money. But for those who sell top-level HVH products, they'll get much more. And for those who work with pro players, that's a whole other topic. Now let's talk about each category then. If we take only CIS, and keep in mind that we have very small cheats with only one developer, it can be from 10000 to $20,000. Okay, and those are small fish, right? Yes, because if we look at the top level where they have hundreds of different cheats, they can easily have millions of dollars in turnover. Uh, let's look at uh, cheats for pro players and their unique field. I think it's less than the millions, but it's attached to the percent of a team's winnings. There's also some open info from European companies where mm. they have a public registry and we can actually see how much they're making. Oh, and how much is it? As far as I can remember, one Danish cheat uh, had about one million dollars of profits ah! in 2020. Not small, but not too big. Your subscription costs 19 euros. 
If we look at the amount of sales on market, then we have- But can't you just sue the f out of them if you're Valve? No? I remember Fortnite making like statements and stuff and people who like cheat developers, they actually like, like they, they sue them and shit. Like they get a hell lot in trouble. <clears throat> What's illegal about it? Does it depend on where they live and do it? Like is, does most, do most countries allow it? I guess the Fortnite example, maybe they were all in the US. <sighs> Interesting. I have at least um, 50,000. I wonder if that will change. Probably at one point, no? <clears throat> With games, like uh, the whole gaming market, esports market, everything becoming bigger. 100% at one point. Sales in two years. Uh, look, we have a market where people can buy and sell settings, configs, and even LUA add-ons for our cheats. There we have one free script that was used by 50,000 people. 50K times 19 equals how much money that ah. you got from people who downloaded that script. It's rough, but uh, yes. What about the margin? It's hard to count because in cheats, the main devs are always the shareholders. If we don't count the developer's work, then the margin would be 90% um, plus. What would have to happen for you to say, I quit, I don't want to do cheats anymore. Probably I would have to make something better. Anti-cheat? Hmm, anti-cheat is pretty boring for me. What could be cooler than a cheat? I think something about game dev or some program product, but uh, not a cheat. Interesting. What are the comments on this? A sort of mental gymnastics they perform in order to justify what they're doing. You can only use on official matchmaking and that's HVH anyway. Yeah, yeah, true. Hilarious to hear them to struggle to make the point that HVH has any skill going on. If you make money by hurting others, you are a terrible person. I also think such people shouldn't be given a platform. Atomics, lol, he's one of my viewers. Bro said the HVH community is young and toxic. Who would have... Who would have to that people... Who would... Who would have to... That people using cheats in games are fundamentally bad people. What? That doesn't make any sense. The one viewer from you, bro. Ah, who would have thought? Who would have thought that people using cheats in games are fundamentally bad people? It's just they're young and probably something missing, no? Like, I don't know. Mm -mm. Like a Jeff or like friends, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm trying to be fully objective because it's like I've been in, in, uh, uh, in like, um, High pixel community and it's it's a very degen, you know. It's 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 just like I always try to understand all sides. Like, why are you cheating? You're trying to put yourself about others. You you ruin the fun for others. You don't care. It's just like full big dick out, you know, like or, or small dick. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Missing the important question: How is Donk cheating? These guys look like they sell cheats, <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> what do we think? What do you guys think? What do I think? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I think it's interesting. And first of all, very entertaining to hear from um, to hear from that side. It is a side, whether you like it or not. Cheats will always exist, always exist, whether it's these guys, it's other guys. It doesn't justify it, but to hear from them, usually you never get to hear from that side. I think it's super interesting and entertaining. So what will they do about the matter? I, I really don't understand why he thinks that that all they're gonna all they want to do is separate. It has to be an anti cheat, bro. I still believe, I, I'm, whether I'm delusional or not, has to be. Valve is not this stupid. Surely not, bro. Surely not. 